child of the soil. I am the child of the soil, grew up in the dusty streets of the congested township where no tranquil prevails. How I wish I could delay the golden gift from moving away as it bids us goodbye, leaving behind the misty horizon at dusk and noise gradually fading away. But soon the sky will sparkle with diamonds that fill our hearts with warmth and hope as little creatures move out to greet the night and claim their freedom. Yes, it is time for me to rest, for the day's work is done and the lingering blaze is dying out. Very soon the morning will come crawling. Someone once said to me, apartheid is dead, but what we are remaining with now is the stinking smell of, of the corpse of apartheid, the effects and the legacy of apartheid, you know. We have, we have walked the road of improvement and transformation, but we are not yet there. There is still a long way, you know, we still need to walk this walk. Life skills. We hold hands and stand across the sky. You can't help but recognize who we are, a rainbow nation. When the oppressors came to us, they came with a tool which was, they were defining everything for us. They, have to de they had to define our culture as being savage. Mm -hmm. They defined everything that we did as backward. They defined our, our, our so source of healing mm -hmm. as witchcraft, you understand? Mm -hmm. Meaning what they had, they had the power to define. It instilled in their minds the sense of inferiority and the sense of self-hate. And that thing has been done for over, over a, a very long period of time. So it, it, it couldn't be just washed away by a 10-year a, a period of, of democracy. I have a role to play, and my role is to, get, is, is a, is to be an activist for young people, for women, for children. And, and for me, you know, I'm, I'm a hip-hop head. I love hip-hop. But it's not just about hip-hop. It's about, you know, I've, I've still got a role to play in my community. We battling that negative forces in hip hop. And this right here is the joint. What can I say? <laughs> my selector, bless us. Everybody get involved. Can I say? Should I ride? What can I say? And, and, and ultimately, I would like to see, you know, kids like me that had an ambition. You know, I'm 16 years, I've been following hip hop. And, and, and there wasn't such vehicles for me, you know, to put out, you know, even to write what was on my mind. And now we have these vehicles, why not help these kids and get their messages heard? As people who are just emerging out of that history of oppression, um, we are now facing a huge challenge, that of overcoming and completely obliterating the psychological malaise that our people are currently suffering from. Now we in South Africa and it's 11 years after freedom and here you hear people talking about the uprising. Why? Why there is a need? We felt that there is a need to uprise. We are uprising basically against uh, the drug consumption and all the negative uh, uh, mentalities that you'll find in our, in our community. Ghetto Youth Uprising is a movement that forcefully tries to fight against the spirit of, of self-hate. Know that that is also somehow the gift that you that you've received. There's there's a there's a use for that gift and a purpose that you have to fulfill. You know, as an artist yeah. as well. And if you just chuck that gift away, a lot of the things that we're speaking yeah. about won't be eradicated. The world out there is hungry for an African voice. Yeah. I'm an African. How can we shape our future with what we have now? <laughs>